Yo, what's up guys? Dezo here, and today we're going to be talking about R plus L equals J plus M. So everybody knows that Jon Snow is Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark's son, but we're going to be looking at the possibility that they had twins and Jon has a twin sister. Now before you go into the comments and say, we saw the vision in season 6 and it seemed to be only Jon, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that this is not going to be true in the show at all, but could still happen in the book. So you're probably wondering who this twin could possibly be. It is Mira Reed. So let's look at why this could be the case in the books, and then we're going to look at some flaws to this theory just so you can make up your own mind based on what evidence we do have. So Mira and Jon were born in the same year. We do know that they are the same age, but we don't really know their exact birthday, so we can't really compare those. We know her father is Howland Reed, and we also know Howland was the only survivor from the Tower of Joy besides Ned, so if Lyanna did have twins, they could have each definitely brought one home, Howland bringing Mira and Ned bringing Jon. We don't really know anything about Mira's mother either, so it is totally possible. In the books, Mira, Arya, and Lyanna all have kind of the same physical description, and in the show, Jon and Mira do look pretty similar. So that could be an indication of blood relation and Jon and Mira being twins. So another piece of evidence is that Howland did owe Lyanna a debt if Lyanna was the Knight of the Laughing Tree. Howland was saved by the Knight of the Laughing Tree, she tended his wounds and gave him some food and let him stay in her tent. The Last Harpy did a really good video on the Night of the Laughing Tree if you want to go check it out. He also ties it into the tournament very well and how it played a role in Rhaegar and Lyanna's love. This isn't a paid endorsement or anything, I just really think it was a good video and I don't like remaking videos that other YouTubers have already made. So if you want to go check it out, there will be a link to it in the description below. So Howland would have probably died if the Night of the Laughing Tree didn't save him, so he would definitely be in her debt. Taking one of Lyanna's children would definitely repay that debt. And before anybody says anything about the Lannisters, believe it or not, the honorable people in Westeros are true to their word and do things like that without having the whole Lannisters pay their debt quote in there. Ned was pretty much only friends with very honorable people, so that would indicate that Howland was an honorable person and would do something like this. Now you might be saying, how is he so honorable he stabbed Arthur Dane in the back? Well, he was just trying to save Ned, and Ned definitely kept that a secret from everybody for all these years until Bran figured out the truth, so it seems like Ned had a reason to protect Howland's honor as well, and that reason could be that he took Lyanna's other child. Now, even though Tyrion's and Daenerys' mothers both died giving birth to them, it is more likely for Lyanna to die if she was giving birth to twins. This would make Mira the third head of the dragon instead of Tyrion, and it would kind of make more sense for the story that Tyrion wasn't a Targaryen, because honestly that's kind of cheesy. And we also know Mira has a super important role, and we have no idea what it is yet. So now let's look at the flaws with this theory so you guys can decide whether or not you are for it or against it. So in the books, Mira has green eyes. This isn't true for any Stark or Targaryen, so that seems to be one inconsistency with this theory. So we all know George likes foreshadowing things, and he does it in great ways. There has been no foreshadowing or no prophecies that would directly involve Mira besides the three-headed dragon if she was the third head. So that's another kind of flaw with this. George would have probably foreshadowed it in some way if she was John's twin sister. So that's pretty much all there is to this theory. That's the main evidence and the main flaws against the theory. Comment down below and tell me what you think about this, if it's possible, if it's plausible, who you think the third head to the dragon is. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe for more Game of Thrones related videos. I try doing theories that are less talked about here on YouTube to give you guys more of a variety. There is a link in the description that takes you to a playlist that contains all of the theories that I have covered. Feel free to check those out as well.